nice and that's for the first time in a uh, you know, platform and then interactions of Sundays. Uh, here we discuss generally crypto and then you know certain area and what you probably want to expect to see in the market. And of course, uh, not an advice, but a kind of opinion, expression of our opinions and um, acting on our opinions and some people who want to take advantage of that too who as well <clears throat> act on our opinions and um, try to take advantage as much as they can. And uh, of course, um, quite unfortunate people are still far in this crypto space because of what we think and what we look at to get and what we <laughs> want to get as immediate gratification. But of course, I would like us to know that crypto is bigger than just immediate gratification. So you're welcome tonight. Um, if you are joining us for the first time, this is how we interact and we flow at our own pace. We are not in a haste because as far as crypto is concerned, the beautiful one, I know you're done and you agree with me that if you can be patient enough, you will get the best out of crypto. And I must say that that crypto had not even come to its full fledged. We're still at the infant stage. And when something is still at the infant stage, I do not see a reason why people you know, want to hit their head, you know, want to kill themselves, you know, as much as possible to want to get it immediate now. And I've seen a lot of people started before and then they are nowhere now because of immediate gratifications. And some have become minor in what is major and become major in what is minor. <laughs> so I just hope somebody's case will not be sold because we have a long way to go in the crypto space. It's gonna be big, it's gonna boom, and uh, but you can miss out easily because of immediate gratification target. Okay, now let's go very quickly and to romance some ideas together today. And um, of course, everybody have his own strategy, but we always say what Plan B represent is to show people how to independently involve in cryptocurrency by themselves. Uh, it's from my experience, I've seen that no matter how anyone claim to be, you know, innocent or, uh, you know, try to be, um, you know, holy in terms of being very accurate and accountable in, in money handling, it's quite cumbersome sometimes to cope with um, <clears throat> multiple uh, money and multiple channels modeled together type of money and management. And that's where we start having people mismanaging people's fund. And now crypto purely is decentralized. And if it's decentralized, you can involve in it in a decentralized manner. Now, why try to centralize what is decentralized? Um, if you are new, please, if you get yourself off our platform, just know that our platform, uh, we don't entertain noise and we might not have the energy to contain your noise. So the only power we have is to get you off our forum, okay? So if you're embarrassed, the next time uh, you try to be cautious about it. You may say we employ Theory X on our platform. Well, maybe that's what we employ. Many employ theory Y, but we see that sometimes it may be very cumbersome. Why do we employ theory X? Because we believe that everyone is adult, and an adult is expected of the individual to uh, curtail our behaviors, not necessarily being coerced to. Okay, now I'm going to go very quickly. We're looking at, you know, let's look at Bitcoin. And what do we expect in Bitcoin? Um, all right, what do we expect in Bitcoin this week? Like we said last week that we expect Bitcoin and it didn't allow us to finish with the talk and then it gets to react. I think that last week we had some, something lesser around 39, 40 or for something thousand. I would say if we're able to break 44, uh, 44 45, uh, something I think uh, I still remember on that Sunday and uh, that we could hit uh, Above uh, 47 to 48,000. And if we're able to break 48, 
$400. Then there we can hit 50 and 53. That would be another journey for us. And now, unfortunately, Bitcoin was unable to break that. We got to 48,000. And that was a good one because the move was so violent that last week. And um, yeah, it actually, you know, go be a little. That was a pullback. You could see that last week. And then pull back a little, but was able to manage itself to struggle and get on the touch line, which are uh, on a very nice uh, support system, uh, support uh, on top of the EMA ribbon. And now we're looking at this week, what are the likely chances for Bitcoin uh, this week? The likely chances for Bitcoin this week, let's look at something very fast. Uh, BTC, where are you? BTC, Ethereum, Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Let's speak to see. We're using Binance. <clears throat> All right. So I'm not doing technical analysis for you. Um, please pardon me. You want to know more about cryptocurrency? You want to do well? I will always advise people you need to equip yourself with the right tool. That's the truth. You must equip yourself with the right tool. But I always say either you have so much money or not, that does not separate you not to be able to participate in cryptocurrency. Because I've listened to people who said, I do not have enough money, that's why I've not started. That's not true. When you go anywhere and they tell you you don't have such so, so amount of money, that's not crypto. That's not that Ponzi. Or, like, we are more Ponzi schemes in crypto than the crypto itself, okay? Now, whereby they tell you we have package like this, package like this. Does that mean that we don't have platform that are genuine you know, and doing some stuff? And they are, but we have more Ponzi scheme, more than real genuine crypto project as it were today. And that's why the first thing I always advise people is that to, best, to be personally involved by yourself in crypto. That's the best, and that's what I can recommend as a first priority. Then you can begin to now spread 10 tackles. But as a new person, what are you supposed to do? As a new person, I do not even see reason why you need to go and join platforms where, you know, they want to be paying you percentage and all of that. I did something quickly yesterday in the office and um, trying to make people to come back to their you know, brain that once you come into cryptocurrency, and I think it's a speed end, I still share that here, that once you come into cryptocurrency, any amount of money you bring into the cryptocurrency, look at it, for instance, if you are coming into cryptocurrency, uh, let's look at it here. If you are coming to cryptocurrency, let's say with a thousand dollars, this thousand dollars is not your money. So I quoted scripture about when he said, I, I said, this is not about either you're a Christian or you're a believer. You don't need to, you know, need to uh, be a kind of, um, you know, uh, fanatics, extreme, extreme of this. What I've observed and what I can tell anybody anywhere without any 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 apologies that I've been able to look at in depthly into the scripture, I discover that it's just beyond religion. And and what was that when it says about I discovered that everything God gives is a seed. You know, where it says he gives the seed to the sower and then the bread to the eater. Now I discover that you are not even qualified to get seed. So because you must be a sower in the sense that you have been doing it and God know that you have capacity and then it gives you. Now, what is the capacity? For instance, in cryptocurrency, what's your capacity? Have you been trained? Have you gotten the right information, the right knowledge? Have you equipped your personal development? And unfortunately, in this part of the world, Africa and all of that, those are the things we don't pay attention to. You know, equip yourself, learn more. And that's why, Felix, I'm a live student when it has to do with cryptocurrency, online business, and life in general. So there are rooms for improvement. There are rooms for more learning and all of that. So, and he said, bread, you know, sit to the sower. That means if you have not been sowing, you have qualified and the basic requirement to be a sower, and it gives to you. And how will you know that you're a sower? How will you know? Now, there will always be one or two little provisions that are given to you. So now, ordinarily, by normal mathematics, by normal mathematics, look at it, why you will know that either you are a SOA. By normal mathematics, this is it. Normal mathematics, two, okay, plus 
two is equals to four. But in in the in God mathematics and when you understand the secret of word creation, two plus two is equals to twenty-two. Right. So um, fifty or uh, ten plus, uh, let's say um, nine. Plus nine, all right, is equals to eighteen. That's a normal mathematics, but in secret word creation, nine plus nine is equal to ninety nine. So, in other words, these two and all of these, this money now is a seed. Now, this is why many of you fall into victim of Ponzi scheme. You know why? Now, Ponzi scheme is going to tell you, invest your $1,000. We're, we're going to pay you 30% every month. Right? Now, Felix is inviting you to be involved into your crypto by yourself, maybe into staking and all of that. And then you want to take part of staking, a fairly ask you to stake your money, uh, stake a coin and have, and have three, right? Three or, okay, 5% APR. <laughs> That is a year return, okay? And Felix may tell you, stake it for one year or five years or even 10 years. Now, because you are eater, and what God gives to eater is bread. And bread is a finished product. It's a yeast and it, it has no um, seed in it, okay? It's a finished you defecate out, it's only you go to Sweden and you'll be able to regenerate, you know, power and energy from human feces and other things. So if, if you don't go to a place that is totally creative, you can't get anything out of, you know, the bread that somebody has eaten. In fact, it was meant to understand that the person who eat the bread will not use the end product because his feces will not see, because it's not it's not a so at all. And so it's going to eat. And so that's exactly what happened to average African. Now, people have met like in Nigeria most time. Now, if I invite most of you, if you are new here, or you've not been to cryptocurrency for some time, or you've not learned your lessons, um, if I tell you to invest in, in cryptocurrency, you're going to ask me, how much can I make in a month? Once you ask me that, I just tell you, you're not qualified for my class. Why? Now, if I say 30% per month, you're going to calculate 30% on your $1,000. This is where we made a mistake. Now, 30% on your $1,000 is about $300, give and take. You'll say, oh my God. So say $300, you say in three months, I'll recover my capital. And give and take worst case scenario, you say in four months time, that you have gotten your $1,000. And so every month they're giving you the $300 if possible. Maybe they do one or two months, the third month, they do update or migrating to new server. Those are the English. And then the money is gone. Even if they pay you the full $1,000 in that four months, it's very possible that after the four months, nothing happens again. Now it's gone. And even if they continue to pay you, now look at the challenge. <clears throat> if you have not grown to understand that this 1,000 ordinarily was not your money, once you are investing, it is called a seed and not food. But because you're not qualified to be given a seed, so when God gives it to you, you see it as fruit. That means you are a so God have given the parameter, but you didn't merit it. And that's why when it comes to your hand, is how to spend it and know how to plant it. And now what I now understood is that when you are planting, the moment you plant, this is what you calculate. No. 
This is what God does. Two plus two is equals to 22. So it is your own effort to plan, but the multiplication is not within your understanding. How do I mean? Now, where am I going to? Now imagine this $1,000 is used to buy a coin. For instance, is used to buy a coin now. Uh, I use example of Matic the other day, or I will use example of a coin, this staff coin. Now, then this coin was pumped and then it's gonna be staking tomorrow. Now, we said as of that time that um, one BNB was about, one BNB was about um, uh, 590 or let's say $600 if give and take. Now, if it's $600, so $600, right? Or $600 was used, okay? $600 was used in collecting 9,800 of the coin called TAF. I'm using an example. And let's say you take the TAF, right? And to get 3% per year, or 5% per year. Okay? Now, this 1,000 or $600 here is not your money again, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abides alone. But when it dies, it brings more fruit. So if you fall into the ground and die, so in other words, for you to reap fruit, the one you planted is a goner, is dead. It is the death of that one that germinates a tree that produces the fruit. That's exactly what you're doing. Now, when you come into crypto, understand that there is a permanent loss of the money invested. Now, what's your concern the moment you come into crypto? Your concern is not the money you invested. Because if you are emotional about the money you invested, now when the price of the coin come down, you are going to kill yourself. Or you are bound to make a big mistake by trying to resell off, to cut. You will tell yourself, let me cut loss. How do you cut loss? Because you have invested $1,000 on a coin and the coin, instead of you know, growing in price, it was diminishing. And when it got to $500, or even when it dropped and it has reduced to $600, you are likely to sell that you call it cutting off loss. Now, in cutting it off loss, then um, eventually the market still come down and the worth of this $600 that you cut off loss or $400 eventually will drop to as low as $100. I can tell you, honestly speaking, if you are emotional about your $1,000, and you cut off loss of $400 by selling off the asset at $600 worth, when it comes down to $100, you are likely not going to buy. Why? You are already emotional because you lack understanding that this your $1,000 was no longer your money. But what was your money is the volume of the asset you were able to buy. Now, if you are very strategic and want to build wealth in cryptocurrency, you are going to be more concerned about the volume of the asset you have. Now, when you are concerned about the value of asset you have, that's what gives rise. I've been saying this time without number more than two, three, four, five years about tokenization, master node, about staking and all that. But no much person took it very seriously. But that's where we are going to now. If our companies that have cryptocurrency, you virtually will see many crypto projects going into staking, staking, staking. Why? It's trending their network and then the disciplined individual who are investors. So, and I always say this and I will repeat it, that people who are active in the market are the people who make the what? The passive and the patient make more money. So cryptocurrency is a place where the active make money for the passive. But the passive have an understanding and the understanding the passive have is what make him to be patient. So the patient and passive make more money eventually because the active is carried away by the price up and down. It is natural. The price of market must go up and down. That would like it or not.
So, but if you're not strategic to be passive enough and develop your strategy, you will always lose out eventually. You may come in into beautiful project and you truncate it very shallow. Now, for instance, when we check yesterday, we discovered that this coin, at the time we bought it, has pumped maybe times three or whatever. Somebody who do not have any strategic plan may sell because he look at it. If you have invested, let's say, six hundred dollars, by now your six hundred dollars should be up to one thousand two hundred dollars, thereabout. Why? Now let's look at it. Look at it here. Just going. This is the coin, for instance, just as an example. Now. Imagine maybe when you were investing, let's say the price was 0 0.05, okay? Let's say the price of the coin was 0 0.05. Now, if it was 0 0.05 right now, it's seated at 0 0.122. So now, if that is the case, look at it, you can say, or you can say 900 or 9,800, okay? Multiply by 0 0.122. So that's about a thousand, almost a thousand two hundred dollars. Okay. So, in other words, you have double your money, for instance. And when we bought this coin, I'm just using an example, was January. It was a pre sale. Okay. Now, that's for you know, a bread eater will always look at, oh, my money is double. Yes, conventional business, conventional financing system or, you know, planning, it's always about my money. But in the, in the financial intelligent world, that money is not your money, it's a seed that must die and regenerate. However, as you are growing, you're able to now separate seed from food, seed from food. So you are going to farming, and I make an announcement last year when we're wrapping up 2021, everybody, especially those people who are subscribed member of Plan B, that if you are on view with me or your private membership, I told everybody, first quarter and second quarter, don't buy anything for yourself. Yeah, sorry, you may not apply this principle, you know, because your purpose is different, but don't buy anything for yourself does not mean maybe you want to pay children's school fees, it's, it's essential for you. You know, you need to eat food, depends on how you discipline yourself. You know, you need to uh, give and take. What I'm saying is that this is not the time to, no matter what coin have given you big profit, this is not the time to change your car. This is not the time to like uh, buy new, whatever. This is, not the, this is a time for pure farming. Because the time to buy those things are coming because when the bull is running crazily, you can be cutting it like an elephant meat. But how you can cut much elephant meat depend on what you are planting now. And funny enough, it's not depending on how much you plant now, it's how timely and to what proportion of what do you plant on. And that's exactly what we're doing. Now, and I told everybody, like people on private mentorship, I told everybody there, in fact, there is no project you must not invest in. Yeah, why? Because where we're going is big and you can afford to miss out. So everybody on private membership is like a sacrificial platform. I'm sure many people are still there, but I, I don't see a reason why you pay $5,000 to be in a platform and you joke with it. Well, I've not said the money is big because there are platform, I'm a member of a platform that I pay $25,000 to be part of the platform. And just for two years. Now you say, fellas, you're mad. I'm not, I hate guesswork. I research a lot because the backbone of cryptocurrency is research information, right information. So you just belong to a community. Now, but everybody will not start from where you, you are now, but you can start from the little, 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 and then be developing yourself. You know, but there are people you are not meant to be listening to where you want to do well in cryptocurrency. Who are those people? People who are fond of bringing this Ponzi scheme, this next Ponzi scheme, which one is paying? Especially people who are carried away by those monthly percentage. You have to go far away from them. If not, you will not read the promised land. I'm telling you honestly speaking. But I've seen a lot, and they, 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 financially, they are not better. You know, knowledge-wise, they're not better. Socially, they are going wayward. They are not producing anything. Now, this is not to undermine anybody, but this is just a kind of advice. Because sometimes the crypto is a big environment. 
in an, and is evolving. Now, one of the painful part that may happen in the later years is that when government will be able to structure and be able to have tax system, all right, I think you could be interrupted by power supply. Okay, so where, where it will be painful for me and and annoying to many people who probably have started cryptocurrency for a while. And yet when government will bring policies for tax and all of that, you will not be able to make enough money to cope with your tax. That would be too bad. So it means it is expedient that everyone by now so settle down and get the basic for themselves. And that means you should be able to get a lot of cryptos, you know, where you can be semi wheels or sardine or chicken and all of that. And then you should be able to diversify to spread your tentacles in staking some projects so that when time come and the structure is there for tax and all of that, don't, don't rule it out. We will get to a time government will be able to fix you know, tax in certain used cases, environment. We call it end users platform, like on the exchange platform, you know, where you are converting to fiat or on the marketplace and all of that. So that's the end users. And so if you have not made enough money in crypto and you're paying heavy tax, it's not gonna be juicy for you. And that's why we always advise people to stand now and know your base. So you have to go far away from people who are always clamoring about how much am I making monthly and they are paying me this percentage and all of that. It may be very, very, especially, you know, platform or in the investment schemes that claim to be trading and be giving you some returns. They are likely not going to be, um, they are likely not going to be genuine. They are mostly, 99% of them are Ponzi scheme. And so we have to be very careful. So in that words, if you have this understanding, now, if you are concerned about your $1,000, you probably want to sell now. Say, oh my God, thank God I've doubled my money or your $600. You say, oh my, I've doubled my money, let me sell. No. Now, what should I do then? Now, imagine 3% per annum on 9,800, whatever, maybe 300 or something there about, I wouldn't know, right? Or 5%. So 5%, let's quickly look at it. I like to be very, uh, you know, practical, okay? So 9,800 multiplied by 0 0.05. Yeah, that's 490. Now, that's what you end in a year, for instance. Now, let's say you have done that for, you stake it for five years, multiplied by five years. That's 2,450. Now, what happened when, when the coin is already a big, strong coin and is maybe seated at $100 that time? So multiply by $100. That's $245,000. So when you tell somebody that what you invested five years ago into the coin was this, he said, I want to invest that. No. Now, but now something you must not rule out again, too, is this fact. Now, will it always happen that it will be positive? No, there are chances that some of the projects you invest into will rock pool. Now, when it rock pools, what should you do? Nothing, you move on. Now, it's on that note, when you're progressing, at least you have a landmark to a reasonable level that you can ask, okay, let me take out some money. Now, what you should have in your mind when you have just started crypto, when you make some landmark or profit, is not to collect and spend to buy a car, is to collect and respread to another project. Because the project you think may have everlasting progress may get to a point and have a lot of diminishing return. Because of what? Close substitute. Because of what? Trend. Now, we have trends of different years in crypto, years of DeFi, year of yield farming coins, 2019. Year of DeFi, 2020. Years of NFT, 2021. Year of Metaverse and use case. Use case of NFTs and Metaverse, Metaverse hype, 2021. 2022, we are now. Now, if you are still carried away by yield farming, most of those yield farming that were just hype have died off. I will told you guys that time. It only takes the genuine yield farming and DeFi coins that will still stay 
after the whole thing. There are some coins they mentioned those times. You wouldn't hear them again, but you still have things like Chilling, you still have Eve and all of that, because these are pure yield farming on DeFi project that have something to offer as a use case. It always falls back to that, but when the hype is happening, you need to be knowledgeable of what to do with those hype and then be able to regenerate those money back to the primary coins and then you are up. The same thing now, NFTs, very risky, but can be very big at a point, at a point but it's even a long time. You can buy some NFT, may take a year or two before it even have to have something or an ecosystem built around it. Like I was saying yesterday in the office, I say it's more preferable, low risky to buy into NFT and metaverse based token than the metaverse NFT project. Okay, now buying into NFT or metaverse project or asset is volatile, it can make you crazy money. But it's more risky that when you buy into NFT and metaverse based token. Now, those jargon will not, you will not understand. I cannot detail you all of this. That's why I will tell you to be very frank, you want to learn more about how to do well in your crypto. If you are a JJC, you don't know much about crypto, we advise you, you know, check out to get a role in Plan B Basic Crypto Academy. Basic is uh, $150, intermediate is $300, uh, advanced is $500, and then uh, masterclass is $1,000. Then you can be able to set you down, learn, and implement what you're learning, ask questions, and all of that. Then those of you who have learned more, you know, everyday new things coming. Then for you to be grounded the more, right, or you want to have access to sending information to be picking and trade and buy, of course, you need to be on view with me. But at least you want to correct one impression. If you are on view with me, it is expected that you should have passed through you know, Plan B Academy, or you have learned so much about cryptocurrency, you know how to navigate your way on so many other things. All you need is the right information and how to position your portfolios and all of that. So if you be with me, it was not our own responsibility to start teaching you how to move from one wallet to another and all of that. No, then you want to really be disciplined enough to be focused and build portfolio and build wealth for many years. Then you have to find a way to be part of private mentorship, which is a five thousand dollars one of you know. Build with me is one thousand five hundred, or you know, yearly. Now, I, I show people that if I don't have all this money, imagine somebody who's coming to cryptocurrency right now. And the whole money he has is $1,000. You don't expect him to go and pay $1,500. Or the whole money he has is $1,500 and he pay for a with me. No, I wouldn't advise you to do that. Though there are persons, they are diehearted persons. Somebody did that 2000 and 2000 and, uh, somebody did that 2020. He met me in December 2020. Yeah, was it December? Yeah, something like that. Um, or just towards the end of 2020, and he chatted with me on YouTube, and he chatted me, hey, please, I want to talk to you. I said, what's the problem? He said, I, don't, I left my home, and then I have to go because the office was shut down that time uh, in Port Harcourt. And do you know what? This person was searching online to see how to be mentored and tutored about cryptocurrency. He said, I've been following for more than six years or so. And then, of course, he had been doing all of those Ponzi scheme percentage, they pay me. In fact, maybe some of those MMM time, GHPH, you know, help me, I help you. And when nobody to help, everybody become helpless, stuff like that. And then well, I, I said, okay, I met with him. Now, he, he got involved in paid fee for crypto academy, deal with me, paid everything. And then the following year, you know, God is so faithful. That's one thing I know about God. And now in 2021, beginning, we had, uh, we're in a training and because it's not to feed into person, person privacy, but I always say my, my heart for everybody in plan B is to see how you make crazy money and we have big testimony. And so one day we're chatting, this is an elderly person for God's sake, it's not my mate, can give birth to me 10 times. And then, and I was asking him, okay, can I see your portfolio right now? He smiled, I said, what's that problem? He said, I do not have portfolio. I said, what, what's the problem? You know, he said, I will talk to you later. And um, I was not happy, you know. So when would I have to meet? I said, why would you do a, you know, of a thing? What type of thing is that? 
Why wouldn't you have a portfolio? Does it mean you are putting money in Ponzi scheme? You know, that's why I know I put myself in people's shoes. I've met people, and that's why you see, I can I, I can empty myself from now to tomorrow to just see people see light in crypto. Because I don't know where people are going to help themselves financially in this crumble financial turbulence we have in the world today if it's not in crypto. You know, but people through trying to get into crypto too, they're actually killing them. They're killing them seriously because they are not helping matters. And so to cut the long story short, the man told me, you know what? He said, the best thing that happened to me was that I didn't have any money, but I have to go to borrow money. I'm not telling you to go and borrow money, you know, but it's a personal race, okay? He said, you have to go and borrow money to attend all your trainings and register for be with me and all of that. I said, what? You borrow money? He said, now I'm learning. I've not invested a dime. He said, but I'm so happy, I'm cool, I'm, I'm so comfortable. You know, God just used only Sheba to erase the pains for him. So when Sheba came, I think the whole money he had, it, there were two categories of people like that. One of them, I do not even know how much he invested on Sheba, but when Sheba came, he invested. The second person still went and borrowed money. You know, but he, 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 he was hungry for success. Okay, that's a different. Now, it's not my philosophy to tell anybody to borrow money, but it is own personal decision. And so he was able to, and uh, he bought Shiba water um, $72, $72 of Shiba. And so when Shiba first moved, he says, I say, I say, no. And so, you know, with that money, he made, uh, he made, uh, um, he made about 100 and, $169,000, okay, yeah, stuff like that. And then when he made that, uh, he called me and his wife, uh, we have to sit down and begin to plan. So the problem there is that it's not how much you make, but what to do with what to make. Did you know that in all the legacy coin we now have, he was able to buy all of them, BNB, all of them, you know, Marty, Cardano, stuff like that, bought all of them, stake, subscribe for other things, come into private mentorship, pay $5,000, he did everything. And then he was crazy about it. Now, but this was a man who could not, who had to borrow money to attend meeting. But I'm not telling you to go and borrow money. But to tell you that, kill that mindset of 30% a month because the $1,000 or any amount you are bringing into crypto is not actually your money. So stop calculating your growth, okay? Stop calculating your growth based on the, um, on the money you are bringing. Calculate your growth based on what you have acquired, which is the coin, okay? So two plus two is not four if you understand seed, all right? If you understand seed, two plus two is not four, rather two plus two is equals to 22, okay? Um, now let's go quickly. Um, this week, what do we expect in the market? For Bitcoin, uh, I expect that we should follow last week roadmap. Now, what was last week roadmap? Last week roadmap was, um, let's look here, here. Bitcoin, Bitcoin, here, yeah, are you? Last week roadmap for Bitcoin was that we ought to cross, okay? Last week roadmap, we ought to cross, yeah? We to cross, um, yeah, we ought to cross 48, 400 so that we can bag 50K, okay? And eventually maybe 53. Now we are gonna struggle again in 50, 53, 50 to 53 thereabout for us to be able to bag 57 thereabout here, yeah? So, but, just just be optimistic that now once we break for 48 400 then we back 50. so if i were you uh, if you have been in that you can use that as a roadmap for other crypto at the moment btc continue to trend other crypto to have a capacity to trend more and then you can buy and once you observe that bitcoin is able to cross 48 400 and then you wait and see maybe uh, 50K. When you get to 50, you begin to struggle. Look what happened last week. 
you know, when he get off from 40 something K, they're about, and then he got to 48, he began to struggle. We knew that it was going to, you know, pull back. And that was exactly what happened. And then it's now taking now new fresh energy, you know, to go. So if you get a 50K, you may have another struggle there. So for you, any coin I buy that altcoin and I'm on profit, you can begin to sell some of them, depending on what purpose to define for any coin you buy. All right, those are the things that people still don't put into consideration. What's the purpose of the coin you're buying? So if you don't define the purpose for the coin you're buying, that's an error, okay? So you have to define the purpose for it. So if it's for staking, I don't bother about the price up and down. Because after a long time, the up and down, the immediate up and down has nothing to do with what you are doing. But where we miss it is this. When you do not have a purpose, you define for a coin. So somebody who stake for a long time from $10,000 of Bitcoin, for instance, does he really need to disturb himself? No. So, but the problem we create for ourselves is that we don't define purpose. Okay. So look at BTC now, so you can see we're very, in a very critical point. Um, so then looking at 50, then over 50, then to probably 57 here. Now, if we break above 57, man, that's going to be a goal, right? 57 to 59 or 58, eight, man, that's going to be violent, okay? The movement will be violent, but the chances to break all of those regions can be very critical. Ethereum, the same way. Um, I expect Ethereum, if it can, uh, it, a very big bullish pattern on Ethereum right now. But I expect Ethereum, you know, to go to $3,700 the other time, and he couldn't make it, but this time around, it's very possible that Ethereum make up, um, what are you, ETH. If or to do 3,700 or equivalent back to could bag, ETH could bag about $4,000 uh, within a few days or, you know, crossing next week, you know, obviously, ETH. So if, <clears throat> All right, yeah, you can see if it's more bullish than BTC, as it were. We have virtually uh, in a few weeks now, maybe one or two weeks, now we actually have almost broken out of the major resistance for if. Then, so you could back up the if to about uh, $4,020 or thereabout. Over here, you know, $4,000. But the chances for 3800 uh, 3, is very possible for if uh, it's about, let's look at it. Uh, I think I need to remove some of it. So anyone you invite into our platform, you just tell them our rule so that you don't ever ask them out. We have time to control people. Okay, now here, uh, let me look at something. Uh, most time, people just um, so that's about like a fourteen percent. They're about for if, and those of you who long, who trade future, and then if you can be strategic enough, why not? You can do uh, maybe 10X, and then yeah, you do 10X, right? You do 10X and um, um, <clears throat> and long, and you, you can bag 100 to 140%, you know, give or take, it's possible. Then Solana, uh, so I'm almost done with this. Yeah, that's good. Solana, you, you know, uh, you can see I put about three coins. Now, not a financial advice, okay? Most time people ask me, should I, should I not? That's why we beg you to learn. Now, Solana is having a very critical point to cross, and it has been struggling that to cross things. And then if it's able to cross uh, 150, 155, they're about. Yeah, Solana have possibility of hitting two thirty-seven dollars. I was telling them in our, in our signal forum. Yeah, because there are so many good um, um, bullish. Uh, what is it called? Chances for Solana. 
That's about 75% thereabout. It's very possible. Now, some of us have bought Solana at $80, $90. So you, you are good. You know, so Solana is good if you want to buy, why not? You know, but that's it's not fairly to ask you to buy. So I I now I'm going back very fast now. So now, so I say if you like, you can buy Solana Ethereum. Yeah, they are expensive, but if I you are I'll forget Ethereum, maybe buy Solana SNX. <clears throat> I don't have time to do much, you know, interaction on XNX. So now staking coins. So you need to go and learn how to stake coin. We have an update. Those of you who are on, um, those of you who are on um, Zinic, uh, Zinic um, Sapphire. I'm sure the, the the staking on Sapphire have started or something. But you were expecting. So let me quickly just give an update about that. So if you are on Sapphire, if you are not there, then you can ask for any person who is a member of Sapphire. And then, yeah, the good thing is that you can download Zinic app independently and stake Avino coin. Now, I'm not going to tell you in the open source on what you need to do. Now, the sentiment, sometimes I always tell people about the sentiment or what they can do. So, but you can download the app, uh, the Zinic app, and then uh, buy Avino coin on La from Latocoin and send to Zinic app and then stake it. But you must have Ethereum there so that you'll be able to stake uh, Avinok and so but the people who are on Zinic you're meant to uh, go to your back office and click on account and click on security so you connect your app right just to take your phone and then if you are using uh, either Android or uh, iPhone you can download Zinic. Zinic is both on Android and uh, OS you know uh, applications and then you connect it, so but ensure that you want to connect your app. You have a strong network, and at the same time, um, you have a good light ray and stuff like that. And make sure your app is updated. And if it does not, you have to do that. And so once you connect it, it's connected. The advantage is this: if you connect your yeah, if you connect your your wallet to your back office of Safio. You have two opportunity. Your percentage of Avinos taking reward instead of um, a year. Uh, where is it? I think uh, Avinok. You can go to Avinok. Can go to staking hint. It's gonna give you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here. So I'm just giving you. We have so many staking opportunity, but some of you are on 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 Zinic, and we we are we are now going to. Who is now who in Zinic platform? Those of you who are just ordinary, uh, sorry, not ordinary, I don't know. Those of you focus more on the, just build a network and make the money and waste it. I always shout in all the time that don't waste your money you made if you are a network marketer. Always you know, you know, develop a brain of having the, a fallback strategy. People don't develop a fallback strategy. That's why I've seen a lot of people, especially in this in the developing world, who at a particular year they are big boys in network marketing. They have made a lot of money, but after many years, you see them still struggling for all those um, crowdfunding system, jumping from one network to the other. I think it's not worthwhile. So when you are in South, Africa, for instance, it's an ecosystem, and you you have invested in the minting of the coin then some even wasted the coin they have minted because they just withdrew and sold it out. And now the staking is there. Many will look at it, what is 1.5%. So if you do not understand staking, maybe if you look at here, interest, yeah, let me show you. Because I like people to help themselves and learn so much. So if you are looking at it, we have yeah, some coin you stake on the, on, even on uh, crew, dot com wallets you are any one percent per annum okay you are any 0.04 percent per annum or some coin now look at what people do not understand and when they are you are, they ask you to buy into some coins when they have not really been into news level you are running away you will say why would i invest that but that's the best time okay imagine if you have opportunity to buy coin uh, maybe you have opportunity okay let's use example Somebody who have like, let's say, 
just ordinary one billion Shiba. One, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, okay. Ordinary one billion Shiba, and they are saying stake it for 1% per year. <laughs> okay, let's look at it. Time 0 0.01. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's, are you serious? 1%, 10 billion, 10 million. Can you imagine? Now, what happened if Shiba go to $1 <laughs> or even the 10 cent? Okay, multiply by 0 0.10. That, yeah. is that so? <laughs> so imagine, so that's what many of us do not understand when they talk about staking. A coin you want to hold for the next five, six years, and you have opportunity to stake it somewhere. I personally, Felix, had BNB for good two to three years without no staking anywhere, just to hold it and, and, and enjoy the price appreciation alone. Because I knew that BNB was going to be a big thing over the years as an ecosystem or exchange platform token and held coin for two to three years without staking. So what do you think? If I have a place that says come and stake the coin for just 0.5% per year, what do you think I would do? Like on the same vein, like the coin, because sometimes some of you got this Avinor coin from Airdrop. Look at it. Imagine, imagine people who got it from Airdrop. Look at it. So that you learn every day. And so um, imagine people got it on airdrop, they didn't know what was going to happen to the coin. And then, okay, it's already moving jaggerly, jaggerly. Okay. <laughs> so people got the coin. Let's look at it. One year. Uh, no. All. So let's go. Okay. Imagine the time that it was drawing like this from 2018. Imagine, right? Imagine people who bought it at 0 0.0027 since 2018, for instance, till 2019, it was still down. Okay, look at 2019, it came down more. How many zero? 0 0.0003 Three zeros. Now, before last year or this year, this year. Now, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022. 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, now we're in 2022, four years. Now imagine you have Avinok, apart from the one they gave you, because I know those ones who got it airdrop, they waste it. So imagine you use a thousand dollars to buy it, divide by 0 0.0002. So you have uh, 5 million pieces. And it's being kept for 1% per year, 0 0.01. That's 50,000 per year multiplied by four. That's 200,000. Okay, the prevailing price multiplied by 0 0.38. 76,000 dollars. Now these are the crazy things that people do not understand when you talk, you're talking about staking and all of that. So you must learn how to understand that. So if you want to stake, have enough, okay? Especially those of you, I think this message is more practical for you guys who are on the Zinic, Safio Global, and then you need to go and do the needful, buy the Avino token from Lab token, and then open the Zinic app, deposit Ethereum and the Avino coin, connect, to your back office. So the advantage of connecting to your Zinic back or Safia back office is you have 100% of what anybody who is not in Safia will make. So anybody who is not in Safia, 1.5% per year. If you stay for two years, it's gonna be making 7.5%, uh, that's 2.5 per year. Five years, now 18%, that's 3.75 per year. Now 10 years, 50%, that's 5% per year. 15%, that's 5.5. Now, when people look at 10 years, 15 years, say, why will I stay coin for 10 years? 
But it's same you that said, ah, I wish I knew this. I always laugh at people. And that's why some of my training can be very crazy, like temptation. Now, when you do training and you tell people like this, June 2000, uh, 2009, yeah, 2009, Bitcoin price. Somebody is going to do something. Oh, I wish I knew that time. <laughs> Good. Now, this is this. June 2009, one Bitcoin was 0.0003201. Now, what it then means is that you can use $20 to buy 200,000 Bitcoin. <clears throat> all right? So because 200,000, all right? 200,000 multiplied by 0.0001. 0, 0, uh, 0. Is twenty dollars. So <laughs> now, right now, two hundred thousand Bitcoin <clears throat> multiplied by forty six thousand four hundred thereabout. Forty six thousand four hundred. Yeah, this one, two, this one, two. That is two point nine billion dollars. Two point nine billion dollars. Let's look at the very the particular currency of the country. One, right? One, two, three, four. That is five trillion naira. Five point four trillion naira. Now, <laughs> I will give you fine. This person that laughed. <laughs> Is it the best? I got what I do. <laughs> Is it and the best? God, the heavens are laugh. All right. So <laughs> imagine now. It is very easy for anyone to tell you that. How I wish I know this time. Is it not to just use twenty dollars? But there we go. Even a coin you got involved in, and the coin dumb, you are scared of buying it again. Yeah, you are scared of buying it again. I always like using. These coins will teach a lot of people lessons, Midas. Okay, it's $26. This was a coin that you use $5,000 to buy it when it was when it was $4. So $5,000 into it that time give you 1,250 coin. Now, the same coin went down, okay, to as low as... 0 0.0018, 0 0.0018, last year, January 20th. And then that same volume of $5,000 investment. Now you can now see why we say, remove your mind from your money you brought. It's a seed, it has died. Now what should be your concern that time is 1,250 Midas. Now the same Midas, 1,250 Midas, drop down, multiply by 0 0.0018, that was $2.25. Nobody can cancel you. If you don't learn, that's why, please, I'm not emotional. I'm not emotional. If I lose money, I don't even care because the worst risk is the risk that involves your life. I told us, I said, I was traveling sometime, I was coming back, I was in Dubai that particular year. And I met a very big man who's a big man, according to Nigeria, they say he's a big man. And as a businessman, but a traditional businessman. And then I, I was telling him about cryptocurrency, as crude as cryptocurrency was that time. You know, Bitcoin should be around um, $900 or thereabout. And then he told me, no, I don't put my money in some of those risky stuff. And to be very candid with you, I can be wrong most time. And I told him, I said, sir, your ignorance is too much. And what you don't know is actually your other brother. Because what you call risk is actually no risk. Risk that involve your money is not too risky. The worst risk is the risk that involve your life. And I told him, I said, but sir, you could risk this coffin. We're in a, we're in a, we're in a coffin. He said, what do you mean by coffin? I said, this aircraft, we are above how many sea level? How many thousands or uh, how many thousand above sea level? Maybe 38,000 or 41. You know, they will even tell you we are so, so place. 
And then should there be any now and engine fail when we cross land, you don't even think about your investment that time. You are praying, God, let us not. But if we crash, we go. And that's all. <laughs> so, but people will be in the aircraft and say it's luxury. I say, no, that's risk, man. Whatever thing you call it, but that's risk. That's the worst risk that can never happen to any man. Be inside the aircraft and you are catching form. And then just to put ordinary your money, your money that is nothing, and you lose your money, you want to die. But people are clamping aircraft. Why right inside the boat? What if the boat sink? Are they not Titanic? Or Mati Titanic doesn't know sink when it say it doesn't this, that, that. So those are the things. No, I'm not putting fear on anyone anyway, but that's the reality. So imagine this at that point. Now imagine the person who used now. Now imagine he had invested $5,000, quite okay, and the market done to that extent. Don't put $5,000 again. Just cost average, put $100. $100 divide by 0 0.0018, that's giving you a whooping 55,555. Not even staking it, because if you have staked it per year, it's 30% on Midas, but let's claim not to stake it. How much is Midas now? $26.41. Now multiply by $26. Yeah, that's $1,444,444. Yeah. So that means you can say your total cost is $5,100, which means the 1,250 pieces multiplied by $26, yeah? That's about $32,500. So forget this, and then $1.444444 million. So that's why I would say you cannot succeed in crypto if you are not foolish enough. For your own foolishness is faith, because every man of faith is a man of foolishness. But it will make sense to other people. Who are the other people? People who don't want to learn. Who are other people? Because enemy of knowledge is equal to knowledge. If you know too much about conventional business and the conventional accounting, conventional traditional financial system, you are going to be a slave to the innovation and disruptive technology called cryptocurrency, blockchain technology, metaverse, NFT. You will be a slave to it. And I will tell people, no matter how much rich you are in a fiat currency, you don't have a touch of crypto in it. Well, I'm not saying you will regret it, but your lesson may be bitter in many years to come. So you have BSU. Now, look at this coin. When we said about it last week, I sent the link. Uh, it will be on our forum or on our Telegram. I'm not going to send any of those links now. Having a uh, BS, uh, as at the time we sent it, it was at about how many dollars? <clears throat> the coin was at about um, 0 0.6 dollars. That is 60 cents. Yeah, 60 cents. So let me quickly look at it. If I was following up, I have, I've sold and I bought more because I staked the coin. Yeah, let's look at it. Yeah, okay, now it has done very well. So I, I bought and I sold. But even upon this dumping, it's trying to find a base because I've been struggling to get up. Then trying to find the bottom, it's just struggling to get the bottom. So, but I already told people that we could see it at 0 0.0, at 0 point, uh, that's uh, 80 cent there about that 80 cent or 90 cent, then before you could recover. But if you recover from here, it's not a bad idea. So, but I bought, so imagine at 60 cent, even if you buy very much volume and you sell part at, it went to two point something dollars, okay? And you sold part and now, yeah, it went to about two point, yeah, 2.12 dollars. And at least I saw about $2 now, and you bought at 60 cent. Then you stick some other volume and it giving you some more coin as it were. So what do you do? You can make more money and return back to stake much volume of the coin. So the volume I've staked now is none of my business again. So you can see why I said finding route back here. So if you cannot hold here at 1.20 thereabout, then you struggle back to 1.07 thereabout, or worst case scenario, 88 cents. So we can't say maybe you go back to 67, but if it goes there, why not? That's a good deal. It can make a lot of sense then. Now, 
that's then of course i've showed you this guy taf right now taf uh then this other guy okay brew lab i do not do anything here the other people know what to do know what to do here okay so now the taf um let's see okay this guy could not hold here that could be very dangerous well it's, well, it's none of my business anyway i know anyone who is have been in plan b especially those of you in view with me who realize that we bought this coin at at um, 0.00204 there are. so whatever is doing now is none of our business so we have stake it we're getting our volume and that's the advantage of staking then uh very quickly uh i was showing you guys about this coin i sent a link on our group yesterday and that people can um, People can register, and so that was uh, an exchange. Where are you? Yeah, that was this exchange, AAX or something, AAX exchange that you can go register, and then because this coin, this TAF, where are you? That this coin is going to be listed there tomorrow. Yeah, sorry, too many things. Okay. So this coin, TAF token, is going to be listed there tomorrow. So that's tomorrow fourth, and they will start staking. So TAF will start staking. Okay, they will give modality of what is the APR or APY, sorry, or uh, maybe from that tomorrow they will give us what will be the APY as it were. So learn more. Okay, sorry. I'm not buying. <laughs> okay, so if you like, you can go back to our Telegram and pick the link and register to, uh, or you can buy the token now if you like. So, and then, so we have a lot of stake. So DeFi games, of course, what a privilege for those of you who have not participated on Drip Network, that's a Drip file set, is just, a, don't, don't bring an example. So it's cheaper now. I remember when it was $67. Then, and then it got to 150 or 167 or 175 dollars. People say, "Oh, I wish I knew when Drip Network was at uh, seven dollars. I would have bought many. I would have had hundred pieces." Now it came down to even tell you something, which I'm still expecting it to come to 19.8 dollars. If you agree, if you disagree, there's no quarrel. <laughs> yeah, there's no quarrel. Yeah, sorry, I bought this coin from a very cheap amount. So I'm waiting for if you can take a look. So if it can come down, why not? That will make a lot of sense. So I only tell people, when people say, ah, I wish I knew when this thing was, when it will come and present itself, nobody will take any. They're always scared, emotion set in, okay? And that's where the problem lies. So now it's $31, so I actually expect a very big fall. Okay, so I still expect somewhere here. Uh, no, 18 point something dollars, they're about 18 point, 19.8. So, so before it could take a move. So let's watch what happened. So that for, so you want to participate in it, of course we have the link on our forum before, okay, maybe people who are new. Uh, I can, for the purpose of that, I can send that. Or you can just get back to your friend. If your friend is on Drip Network, you can go back to your friend and ask. Then, then the, the Drip Garden is already cheap. Uh, when most of us did was about $12 per plant. Now, the plant is, uh, 70 something cent so i don't know what's going to be your excuse <laughs> so i think it's about 70 something cent let's look at it uh here so all you do is just like you compound that's how i call it defy games now in the dump what you do take more money um not a financial advice anyway so because i just do my things and share my opinion so it's a choice for people to 
part of it, okay? So look at it now. So all you do is like, you compound. If you look at this an example, this account now, if you look at the potential of this, imagine when the, this account activated at when the price was, you know, maybe, it may be on the average of $8 and the account was activated. So compounding. Now imagine this is 1,594 plant. So if the price even just recover to $5, so that means what you are seen as $1,112. So you can see why we say, don't calculate the money, check the asset. So 1,594 multiplied by uh, $5, that would be around $7,900. What if when it's now 1,594 multiplied by $10, so that's about $15,000. Now on the average, this account now is getting like 53 plant per day. So you are saying 53 multiplied by, even when the market is $8. So you are saying $424 per day multiplied by 30 days, that's unbelievable, okay? 12,000, we we'll just use an example. Now, but if, if the account, when it's the ordinary $3, so $53 multiplied by three, that would be about $159 multiplied by 30 days, yeah, 4,700 or whatever. So you can, now, if you look at it, this is an example. This account now remain one minute to compound. I'm going to compound it. You see the way it's done. It has about 21 plants already. Why do I wait for one minute so that I don't waste the accumulated extra of the seed? And then it just to continue to compound. Now, many will not come in now and say, ah, it's like it has crashed. Maybe it's not going to go up again. Maybe when the thing go back to $2 or $3, what they will have used ordinary $100 to get they look for 2000 to get it eventually. Now, it's not a financial advice, just a choice. And uh, we don't stop uh, enlightening and sharing of the people. Now, so you can see the animal farm. Then the next is there's a pre sale coin. Uh, I think I can set this link. Please, I will want people when the pre sale is going on. Some pre sale can be, most pre sale are risky, okay? Especially, there are two things about projects. Some projects may be good, but the people behind it may fail in terms of energy to push. Then, or some may have good energy to push and the project may not attract customers. So, but in other words, no matter how bad a project may be, when you, when you are opportune to, we'll send you back to where you are. Right, so when you're opportune to, okay, when you're opportune to participate, okay, you can now see now, I wanna go, I'm, I'm gonna compound this, I have 22 plants already. So I go to the platform. So 22 plants, okay. So I'm gonna recompound, so 22. So I click on, plant seed compound, okay, and then confirm. So, but some, if you want to harvest, you can still harvest, it's just that when you harvest now at a very cheap amount of money, when you imagine if somebody is harvesting now, that means 50 something, let's look at it. Let me refresh. Okay, so imagine somebody is recompounding now or is harvesting, yeah. So 53 plants, 0.86 is $38. Now somebody is harvesting that is going to sell it off at $38. That is half will be BUSD, half will be true, we'll sell everything off. So what happened when the price of the plant go back, possibly back to uh, just $6? So that means what you sold at $38, which is, 53 seeds, 53.867, multiply by $5. That's $269. And then you use it to collect $38.
So those are the things you learn when you are just like what I use an example just now about miners, right? So you can plant and then continue. So I've sent the pre-sale link to the platform. There's a coin, I uh, think it's from Africa. And, uh, some of those uh, is still part of my uh, wonderful children that set up the project. And then they say they, they have been doing it since about for long now. And then they are doing their pre-sales to say to take, uh, I think it was 30 days. Okay, it's still till 27, uh, it was more 27 days to go. So you can go to pink sale and the link I sent up, you can copy it and all of that. The good thing is that you can risk as low as 0 0.15 BMB, 0 0.15 BMB, I'm not sure it's too much. 0 0.15 BMB, let's look at it. 0 0.15 BMB. Or go okay. here, 0 0.15 BMB. So you can risk that maybe 0 0.15, 0 0.2, and then BUSD, BUSD. Okay, so 0 0.15 BMB should be a check. 0 0.15. Sorry, 0.15, 60 something bucks. So 100 bucks is not too bad, you know. Not a financial advice. I'm not saying you should put $100. So, but why not? So, but that is as low as 67 bucks. You can participate. That's what it means. So you go to a pink sale, connect your wallet, have your BNB, right? So people have started comment, committing. 6.9, whatever, so far. So all you do is just to go there, 0 0.15 BMB, but I'm sure you have more than that because of little gas fee. And it showed you how many of the uh, BBNT. Okay, so click on buy and then uh, every other thing you can take all that. So it's a, the BBNT fund token is a community utility token designed to create a fun experience for the fans of the Big Brother series. The show holds yearly with engagement up to billion viewers. BBNT mission is to create a form of reward for the holders and voters within uh, using the token. So we aim to partner with the show organizers to be used as voting token during the TV show across the world with you know, leaderboard activity and weekly earning tasks for users. We believe that fans can also be winners. So that's you know. So if their game game plan works, why not? So they are having about hundred billion uh, total supply, and the token for pre-sale is this five billion, and then token for liquidity and all of that. You can go through all the detail, and then probably participate in it and follow up them. You know on the on the I think they have a telegram. Yeah, look at the telegram, uh, sorry. So um, you want to get connected to the people behind it. Of course, you can chat with me on the on the platform, on our platforms, I'll connect you with them. And, uh, so they may want to have one or two interaction with them to have some, not to have discussion. And then, so now, like I've told you guys that um, business, sometimes a project can be nice and may not have a good pusher. But if you don't have a good pusher, there'll be a time to have a big challenge and person will run away. Example was Midas. The guy was crazy. This guy was crazy. You know, there's something I showed to people, uh, was it yesterday? Aware that this guy is a very crazy guy who, how can a project like come down from $4 to 0 0.018, 0 0.0018, 0 .0018, and the person was still a die-hearted person continue to do what he was doing. That was crazy, right? Okay, so you can of course um, see that he meant what he wanted to do and he sat there and then today, the rest is history. And there are people who, who, may, who laughed at us, they were laughing, 
that uh, were not serious and all of that. So, but they don't know what to do again now. So they are looking for, we that were not serious, they are now looking for a way to be part of the thing we're not serious about. So most time you just risk, I have told you, when you risk your money, it's not risk, it's low. The risk of your money is low. You know. The risk of your life is the worst. And the worst risk is not to take risk at all. I love what this guy said here. Maybe, uh, let me see here. I love it very much. Let me show you guys. Uh, just up, finish. Love what he said here. You see my dad's guy, you can they say, financial freedom for every investor by the end of the bull run mission. Our generation is lucky to see the fundamental change in modern economics. Limitless peer-to-peer -peer value transfer that started with Bitcoin. We formed the new man with limitless opportunity. So these are visionary, these are visionaries. How we, you know, you know what it means. You do know the kind of humiliation you will have gone through when the token price went down from, but it was still there. And some of us who are addicted believers because we saw his effort continually to make effort, we stay with him. Now, for you to, um, to do this, from now to the 20-something of this month, you must do your KYC. Without your KYC, you will not be able to invest on all the staking platform as it were. It's crazy, you know? So that's when we tell people to sit, learn, understand things, grow, expand yourself. And then, but because we are looking for Osbo ministry, that's where we feel. Then lastly, robotic trading. I've been using three commas for more than three years. And I, that's why I told people use three commas. And I, I, it was disappointing, but you know, I'm not a marketer and that's why I don't get bored. But it was disappointing. Some people started with three commas. What make one, some of them not to be using it again now? They have refused to give personal development. And I've told you, you want to learn more on the usage and strategy how to use three commas. You have to go and enroll on the training. It's $750, one of Learn the strategy and all of that. But people are not ready to empower themselves. You know, it's not like the, where you say empowerment, when somebody give you money. That's not. Let somebody give you knowledge. Let somebody give you value. In plan B, we don't even teach you how to fish. We teach you how to own the lake so that you engage fishermen to fish for you. So, but people are not ready to empower themselves. That's quite unfortunate. And that's why most people now are not using three commas. I have not stopped using my three commas. I'm still using it to accrue coin. I'm still using, I'm still accrue coin on some coins that you may not even regard that have gone on silent move. I've just, my boat is trading them, accumulating. Sometimes I need some fiat US dollar, and, um, fiat dollar USDT. I'll go there, I'll see that my coin have accumulated some. Okay, so that's just the basics. And finally, before I, before I conclude and take some of those questions for asking, please, uh, somebody sent a Gmeta email, they got the email. I don't know how true the email is. I've not really had time. I don't even know the email I used. I do not know the email I used for my Gmail. Please, if you get email and they're asking you of to connect your wallet, be careful. Please do not do anything funny. Please be very careful. So they say they got message. You no, know, we register on Gmail and they say they are around two now. I don't know when they will finish their run, but I don't always disregard some things, especially when things are happening within a trending period. <clears throat> and then People are not seeing what is happening. So I just bought into it, put in my little money I want to put in there so that when they become news, I will not be left behind. And so please, if you receive message on Gmeta and you are not too clear of the sender, please do not click on any link. That will even take you to say, connect with your wallet. Now, maybe later before tomorrow or before next week, I will have to check on their Telegram channel. If there's anything like that, we should be able to know there's an update about that. Okay, so use uh, three commas. Okay, I think uh, if you are not three commas, three commas is a good thing that it of a uh, utility. But in plan B, what we are more concerned about on three commas is our utility and not just 
refra commissions. But it has refra commissions, right? Just like athlete commissions, okay? Now, but what made some people not be interested in talking monetary commerce is that it's not a pure network marketing that they will say, I have rank, I'm in this level, we'll travel to Dubai, we are going to qualify for car. Three comma don't do funny thing. The, the utility, you use it, connect with your, and the trade, using it to trade, you know, track your portfolio and all of that. But if, if somebody use your link and register, they, they'll pay you percentage on what he, the, what he subscribed for. But this is how it's done. I, I was checking the other day, what you earn, right? What I just hope I can see here. Now, if you look at three commas, I'm not here to teach you about three commas. Now, some people even thought you don't earn commission. You can earn commission, but it's not what determine your, your utility. It's your utility is what determine what to earn because some of us, we, I use it to trade. Now, this is what they spread it for the whole year period of the person, all right? Yeah, the year period of the person, like if I sign up somebody who do subscription of, let's say, $294 or $500 or $600 or $594. Now, maybe if it's 15% or 20%. So if that 20%, let's say, let's say um, $594 multiplied by 0.25, right? $148. So divide by 12 months, right? That's about $12. So each month, when a 30 days completion is when they will drop this. So that means the $148 you earn is not going to be given to you spread for the period of the person's subscriptions. So that's where people are not always interested. <laughs> they said, uh, so they don't they want to see that normal all those networking, we join, nobody join. Some will not even use the boat. I, I hope you know. Some some of those funny people, they won't even use the boat. All they do is that they sign up. Since there's a referral commission, they send the link, let people be joining and they make money from the commission without using the boat. For me, the utility of the boat, the utility of what I'm doing first is very important. Um, just the refra commission as well. So then lastly, uh, okay. So let me go quickly here. I'm sure this people just woke up and then we send them back to sleep. Go back to bed. Okay, so that's for that about, you know, three commas. Why don't you use it? Help yourself as much as possible. Then one more last thing, like uh, I will still remind us again, there was a platform we sent to us say Sizu, they said they want to do NFT minting. I will still say it so that if it's rumor, when it become news, I will not be challenged. Let me log in there. And I've told you, if you have signed up, because I know I made an announcement when the link was sent on our platform. And I told everybody sign up. That was when they sent the kind of pre-sale. And I said, sign up, but don't do anything. So if you go to your Sizu back office, Download their white paper of the NFT thing they said. Read more. If it's going to make some sense to you, then why don't you throw in some money there? $100, $200 is not a bad deal, right? You can you know, throw it in there and check what happened if not true or not lie. So you study about the NFT thing they said they will bring, the minting and all of that. Sit down with it. Right, and to understand it because I told people I said, even when something is not real, when you begin to talk more around or what's trending, people are bound to start buying it to read, either is real or it's not real. And then when you wait until it's totally real, you may actually miss out of many things. 
So um, that's why that's why from day one, immediately I sign on, I I send the link across so that let's not be because I made that mistake sometime. I'll say, no, I don't want to tell anybody. But over time, I discovered that as far as like projects and stuff like that, it makes sense eventually to people. If you look at me now, sometimes I go there and come and fetch money. I come and fetch money here to use and buy other coins. But I see that I was accruing some more money just by because maybe I share with people. And I have a number of people now who are, they are growing the community on need and they are making a lot of money. So it's like me, I don't have too much energy. I'm not a good marketer as well. So, but what do I do? Uh, it was said to be that, okay, all of these were locked. So if these things are locked and they say when the time is available for it to be released to me, and then it's going to be a factor for me to use either to buy some NFTs or to use and whatever thing they want to do. But if you look at it now, you see that what they say I have a crew and make both on the uh, the package I did and maybe some affiliate commissions on it is over $4,600. Now, of course, that's not there. I must have used it to buy one coin or the other. So why not go and read it and then either it is a choice is a lie. Over time, what will become true? Okay. So I think for now, that's that for tonight. Uh, let me quickly check what questions anyone else have asked. Yeah, so what to say, almost half of Nigeria. <laughs> yeah, you're doing is 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 now. You want people to do <laughs> okay. We drop we drop more. Uh well, I can't say it means it drop more, but I don't know. But you know, I, I think uh, the PG Bank is um, may get more updates on Thursday and Wednesday. They say on the sixth, and so if they start and the mig uh, the migration was finished and it should start or something, so if they start, it may return back. But I'm just trying to be following up so that I will not miss out on when they start, so that I will not miss out on when I to add up to my drip garden and to add to my uh, drip file set. Okay, uh, okay, somebody was talking about it. Yeah, the update. Okay, yeah. So we're waiting till probably Wednesday to know what's up. Yeah, it was doing the thing. Now, I want to know if the BBNT is related to the Big Brother. No, it's a different initiative, the different people <coughs> that created it, but that's what they are trying to achieve to get connected and then make it a kind of um, Maybe they have just explained to you, it's not the company that created it. Yeah, it's, as I told you, if you want to interact with developers, why not I can connect you, probably those of you in our community. Or if there's a time, maybe by next week, I can invite one or two persons from there to come and explain something about it. So I think, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's for, that's that for now. So,